All right, we're up. Josh Leander, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. It's the first time I've ever had a conversation, so I appreciate you doing this. Yeah, th- thanks for having me. Yeah, well, where are you? What are you, where are, what are you doing? I'm uh, I'm in Scarborough right now. I'm just uh, just at home. Okay. Had training uh, earlier today, so yeah, I'm just uh, relaxing the rest of the day. Nice, man. Well, listen, we're live around the world. Whoever's joining us right now, there's people clicking in, which is cool to see. Uh, a lot of interest in you, man. And um, I've got to tell you, there's, I, I don't know tons about you. I mean, I've, I've heard of you and I've talked to Brent Hayden about you and kind of your career has been building. But then all of a sudden you have this, I, I feel like this breakout kind of in the last 12 months, but certainly at the World Champs, you made, you made a name for yourself here at this World Champs. Like you're the real deal now. So you're not going away and, and you're only getting better. So um, I think we it's about time we learn more about you, man. So thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks. It's, uh, it's an honor to be here. It's exciting. Well, well tell me, um, where are you now in terms of your, your season and things like that? Are you headed to Commonwealth Games soon? Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, the next one. I got a pretty, pretty big program at uh, Commonwealth Games. I'll be doing, I didn't do 50 fly at, at World Champs, but I'll be doing... 50 fly on top of all my other events there so pretty pretty big schedule at that meet do they have the mixed relays at the commons now um i believe so i was talking to my coach i think uh, i'm not 100 percent sure yeah yeah i don't know i haven't i haven't looked at that either but that would mean that would mean a big big schedule if that was all in there too so yeah um that's cool well well listen first of all congratulations on worlds how how was your your feel on it how what was your takeaway for from your performances Oh, it was good. I think I obviously I handled myself well. Um, the way I was racing, the way I was stepping up, um, and but also I I saw a lot of things to to improve on there. So mm. that's nice. also good to good to see. And obviously, got to put the work in and uh, and just like get get better. Well, I'd like to kind of touch on maybe each race individually for for a start. But before we do that, tell me this, like. Can, Canada's not known for its male sprint prowess. So, like, when you come up against the rest of the world, man, it's it's almost like you're a little bit isolated. You've got all the swim sprinters who are training in the U.S., and you've got all these Europeans that get to race in a lot. Like, you're a little bit isolated in Canada and and kind of out there doing your thing. That The, the women are doing incredible things, uh, the Canadian women. So do you feel that isolation? Do you feel like you're the only guy, you know, one of the only guys out there, you know, in training and then having to step up and compete against the world. Do you get a sense for that or not? Um, I feel like not so much now. Like we have some, we've got some pretty good guys uh, right now in this group and uh, coming up and that are going to be able to do really well, I think. But obviously you see that, that there's an obvious gap, right? Between mm-hmm. like the woman are doing so well, Summer had a, a big meet um right. at the at those championships so but yeah we, we got some good guys um uh, Ruslan, one of the guys on on our relay he's now training with us at the center here in toronto so okay we, we've got a we've got a good group it's exciting cool man now do you are you originally from trinidad and tobago is that right yeah so i i was born here so i i'm i'm canadian okay. um but Moved down to Trinidad, lived there until 2012. So my childhood was basically almost all in in Trinidad because I got family back there and um, kind of grew up there and then came came here. Just okay. for, yeah, Canada. Okay. So was your first memory of Olympics 2012? Was that your first real memory? Yeah, I would say that nah, that was the that was a big one because I remember I was watching that in Trinidad and then I came here in the fall and started school in canada so i i watched the i remember watching the olympics in 20, 2012 i was like my were you first swimming time. were you were you training at that stage in 2012 yeah yeah I, I was a swimmer okay cool so i guess the swimming was a big thing for you so what was your first memory from that i mean i think that's the one that brent hayden actually got a medal in too so do you remember that at all yeah i do remember that obviously everyone was watching michael phelps as well but i remember i remember brent hayden and uh, yeah. at that meet it's yeah. crazy, and and I actually got to swim with them later, so that was pretty cool. 
Yeah, he's a legend, man. That guy, that guy's my man. I love that guy to death. So, um, do anything for him, and he's he's like that with with other people. Like you know, he would do anything for you. He wants your success, and I've yeah. I've noticed that about him is like he's pumped up that you're coming up in the in the world of sprinting in, in Canada, and he wants you to win. You know, like he's as proud as uh, for you that he would be for himself. You know, so yeah, I, that's cool in that sense. Um. All right. Well, then, well, then that was your first memory. And then Rio, I guess, is kind of one where you felt like, you know, you probably get that itch to want to compete in Rio. How far off were you kind of even possibly making that team at all? Um, I was 13 at that point. Oh, you were 13. Yeah. Oh, you're still. <laughs> that's right. You're only 19 now. I keep forgetting that, man. Damn. Yeah. Oh, but hell. yeah, I, I remember that one really well. I remember watching, obviously, watching Penny. Penny had a really good meet. I watched like Santo. I watched um I like watched the 50 free. Like I I watched a lot at that meet. Uh that was kind of like the first big one. I remember a lot about that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Did you always see yourself as as a sprinter? Was that were they the events you kind of gravitated towards? Um not really at first. Um at first mm. I was kind of yeah, I was struggling a little bit with the with the sprint. I was I was swimming just like I wasn't specialized, I was swimming like everything 15, 400 free, mm, um, really? two free, two fly was my best event uh, for, for a good while. Oh, wow. Um, and then 100 fly started getting better. Um, I wasn't that great at freestyle. Um, my freestyle technique uh, definitely um, started getting better. And then I started becoming a sprint freestyler. So it was kind of, I think, around. 15, 16 was when my freestyle started getting good. And then that's when I started getting good at like hunter fly, uh, like 14, 15, 16, that, the, that kind of year. But I was still swimming to fly until I was, I was 16. And then I kind of started focusing on the hundred. When did they notice you in Canada? When did, when did they kind of pinpoint, Hey, this kid's got talent. We might want to bring him into this particular group and, and get him moving. When was that? So I think, when I was 15, I was with my coach, Murray Drudge. I was with the North York Aquatic Club mm -hmm. in, in Toronto. And we train out of the same pool as the as the center, as the mm -hmm. high performance center here. Okay. And then my coach basically went over and talked to talked to Ben. And then from there, I think it was 2018, I started training like part time, not like full with the high performance group. And then okay. in 2019, um, I made the I made Guangzhou for the relay. Mm. And then that's when I started training full time with uh, the high performance center. I went to Mare Nostrum with them that year, so that was that was when I started. What was the difference then? Once you moved over to that program, what were the big differences? Oh, uh, I was getting beat a lot. I was getting <laughs> like I was getting beat by the girls. And, by the girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that definitely um, was an eye opener. And, and Ben kind of noticed I didn't like getting beat by the girls when I would get beat by the girls. You'd be like, Oh, like the girls are beating you. What are you going to do? And I, <laughs> yeah. So I had to, I had to get better pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Were you, are you, were you on a different program or were you doing exactly the same things as them? Gym, pool, everything. Yeah. It's uh yeah, I, I was doing the, the same thing. Uh, wow. Pretty much okay. just like right in. Yeah. Right. And obviously, um, you know, you had been for a while and had some success there. Was it difficult recently in that in that switch? I know that there was a lot of concern at the time that Ben was leaving and had this killer group and these guys, everyone was clicking. It was moving, you know, we had you who's this up and comer. But it doesn't seem like either you or Summer really took a backward step when Ben left. And it's not to say that Ben's not a great coach, but you've done well in the transition. How did you manage that? Yeah, I think uh, I think the obviously the whole group it was a like it was a big shock to the to the whole group. Um, we're really happy with the change, but we had to like we had trials coming up, so we had to kind of just lock in, focus in, yeah. and then but I, everyone handled it like not just me and Summer, every, the whole group handled it um, mm. pretty well for the situation. So, but yeah, it, it was a it was a big change, hard to kind of hard to deal with a little bit, but I, I think we did a good job with it. Who's taking over now? Who's your Who's your main coach? So uh, Ryan Ryan Millet is the coach there right okay. now. Yeah, right. he's the interim head coach for us right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've had massive success. So in terms of the big changes, you said, 
what were some of the big changes and how did you overcome those to have this kind of success you're having? Yeah, well, one, like we just didn't have enough, uh, have as much staff, right? So like we right. had a decently big group, like it's probably the biggest group, um, at least since I've been here, it's definitely the the biggest group. So Ryan's just like running around trying to time everyone. And it was kind of, he did a really good job. Like he handled it really well. Mm. Um, obviously stressful for him too, but um, yeah, there's just a, just a lot uh for just like one coach to be able to to do right and focus on each individual when we have such a such a big group of athletes um that need different uh obviously different things yeah for sure well what about your specialization in terms of what you need and how you get stronger faster those sorts of things what are you doing for yourself if you could share a little bit of that stuff um that kind of works for you so like in practice weight room that kind yeah, of give us give us a give us a, a a kind of a snapshot of the week. What is your what does your week look like? Um, so we we do weights um Monday, Wednesday, Friday. In the um, morning. Uh, I think in Wednesday and Friday we we do it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Wednesday's a a a cool day where it's like you get to choose if you want to. So in the morning, the set you can do a main set in the morning, um, and that'll be long course, or you can do a main set at night and that'll be short course. And okay. basically, whichever one you choose, the opposite session, you'll you'll do weights before. Okay. Monday, weights is always at night. And then we have like a, just like a straight speed session, have some dives, some, some max efforts, um, short kind of sprint. That's Monday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday's a little bit of heart rate and then heart rate and race pace. And then Friday's kind of similar to Wednesday. All right. Those well, are like the well, three main blocks. Is there kind of a, a yardage type, uh, you know, that you're hitting um, per week? Do you do you count the yardage that you're doing, or is it more based around the quality of work you're doing? Um, I don't count the yardage. <laughs> there's definitely some yeah. people in it. There's definitely some people in our group that that count it. Summer does way more than anyone. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah she just keeps going. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not really. I I, I don't do as much as uh, some of the people in our group. Like we got uh finley we got some miamers summer um I, I don't do as much as them how do you say to yourself then how do you know you've had a productive week how do you look back on your week and feel like you've been successful for you like what are the what are the benchmarks for you to say i've had a successful week well i try to so in practice i always look for i'm always working on something so uh from the last meet we we're looking at my dive and then looking at something with my dive so just improving on at least one thing through the week and obviously working hard and and uh trying to hit hit like times um but yeah i, I just honestly I, I look at one thing uh for the week and then if i was able to improve on something then i, I would say it's a pretty good week nice what are the things you do right now that you think you do well and then what are the things you want to continue to improve on the on the world stage when you can pay yourself maybe where where's your weaknesses uh weakness i would definitely say at, so, so for fly i would say my my turn my fly turn needs some work i definitely um what's definitely, the problem with it what's wrong just just into the wall it's uh i, I lose a lot of speed um don't always hit my turn it's like a, a thing in fly obviously the timing but when i don't hit it it's really slow um mm -hmm. in terms of when i do hit it even if i have a long stroke i want to still be able to to carry speed okay all right that's that's a weakness in fly you're obviously making big gains in sprint free so what are you doing well there um i, I i've got good speed um I've worked, like we have some good power work um i've obviously gotten i've gotten a lot stronger since um like it like pretty quickly um, so my strength is definitely there. I know I have my strength. I know I have power. Um, yeah, and just some things in my technique, me and my coach are looking at that, um, that obviously I, I, I can improve on in freestyle. Is it, is it, um, how much of, of this do you attribute to your talent? And then how much obviously are you attributing to hard work? Like you, you're obviously got some talents. What, what do you think? What do you think it is for you? um it's it's i think that there always has to be a balance um obviously there's some things that i'm just naturally good at and then um there's things that i have to to work on 
Um, yeah, I would, I would say it's it's definitely a balance of both. How do you uh, improve your power and your speed? Oh, well, let's let's just say your power. So you want to get you want to get more powerful. You want to get that that top end. What are the things you're doing in the pool to improve your power? Um, yeah, so we would do like we have buckets, we have uh, cords. Okay. Um, we do like cord underwater. So basically underwater is against uh, with resistance. And then uh -huh. we would do like power tower fins, paddles, uh, just basically going as fast as you can, getting that power, getting that speed up. Uh, those are do, the, do those power towers, they go out 25 meters? Yeah, we go like 20, like 20 meters usually. Yeah. Okay. Right. Nice. And then where are you? uh good are you are you good at kicking or are you are you strong at pull or are you good at both um i am i'm i'm a kicker 100 i got i got strong legs i got pretty strong legs um my fly kick is uh definitely uh better my freestyle kick's gotten a lot better um it wasn't that good um my freestyle pull i can i can sprint freestyle pull but once you start getting some distance in there my freestyle pull kind of deteriorates Mm -hmm. My fly pull is awful. Like I need to work on my fly pull. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but yeah, that's like one main thing I need to work on is I would say my fly pull. It's uh, it's not very good. How do you guys know that you're on target to swim 21 low, you know, 47 flat and 50.100 fly? How do you know? What are the things you do in practice to hit specific targets that give you indicators that you're on pace to swim those type of times? Yeah, so we would kind of we do like some some back end speed stuff. Obviously, I I do some front end as well, but uh -huh. um, I don't think we we don't really we don't usually like do swims and kind of look for a certain time. Um, obviously, if it's like hundred pace, um, we're gonna try to be going faster than what I come back in. Just like things like that. It's not um, not always super specific, super specific. I always try to hit a time faster than what I would, let's say if it's back end speed, um, I would hit faster than what I would be with uh, back end speed and just that kind of stuff. We do broken swim sometimes and then we kind of use that as a, as a benchmark and obviously look at what I've done previously and use that as a, as a benchmark for, for um, what I want to be able to do in the future. What about your confidence, man? Where does that come from? You seem like a really confident kid. You know, you've got, you, you, you trust your abilities. Um, you know, you, you, it seems like you'd love to compete too. So like, where's that confidence come from? I don't know. I just, I, I think it like what you said, I just love to compete. I love to race and uh, I kind of don't focus on any external thing or if I don't feel as great, I know that I want to, I want to compete and I want to go fast and, um, yeah, that's that's something that I just like always uh, always had. Um, I'm just like I'm always confident in myself, and um, yeah, I, I always want to just like go fast. I don't really think about um, any anything else. There's a lot of these young kids coming through, man. Like you're part of this new young generation of people that are just tearing it up, and and you race another one of those guys, uh, Popovich. What's your thoughts on him? He's a he's a really good swimmer. Uh, yeah. I, I, I had a chat with him uh, after like once we were done, but yeah, he's uh, he's good, and you can you can kind of see that he's uh, he's a fearless kid, uh, and I like that. I, I'm I'm a bit like that too. Uh, but yeah, I got some work to do because he is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's really good. I, I raced him. I think I raced him um, every single time in the hundred free. Like I raced him. I was in his oh. heat prelim semifinals, and I was beside him for semi and finals. So. Yeah, he's uh he's definitely a big talent. Got yeah, and and, Look, and and he's a really good guy. He's a he's a good kid. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. He is. He is, and he he's he's competitive like you, man. So uh, he's got that little bit of killer in him, but he's a, he's a good kid too. And uh, I like that in both of you guys so far. So keep that up, man. Uh, definitely something I saw in Brent throughout his career, and and it serves you well in the long run to be like that, man. But um, well, let's talk about your events just specifically at Worlds. Uh. What was the first one? Was it uh, your hundred free or your hundred fly? Uh, so it was the hundred free. Had the relay uh, first first day. Um, is that, is that like a, just to get into the meet kind of thing and makes you yeah. kind of relaxed and feel good? Yeah, I feel like that having that relay was good. I had a had a team with me as as well, and 
got a uh, got a good good swim to start it off. So I feel like having that relay first day that that was a really good good way to build momentum into the meet. How do you feel a couple of days out of something like this? Like you're obviously nervous. You're you know you haven't done anything super hard and fast. You know, maybe for a week or so, you've kind of been resting and tapering, maybe you touched a few things here and there, but nothing much. But now you've got to go out and, you know, conceivably swim faster than you've ever swum in your life. Like, what's that moment like for you in those in those days leading up to that? Um, I, I definitely get I get pretty excited leading up to the meet um, in terms of like not really swimming. I, I do a lot better in taper and um, compared to when I'm not tapered. Yeah. Um, so like whenever I get that rest, it's just like I. I feel good and I know like with rest, I'll be able to perform much faster than, than without. So kind of leading up to the meet and I, I don't really think about time. Like, oh, I'm going to have to go this fast. Obviously it's goals I want to hit. Um, but yeah, I just want to race and, you know, get my hand on the wall. Do you, do you ever get that feeling like a couple of days out or maybe the day of in warm up or anything where you're like, oh shit, like I'm on today. Like I'm feeling this. Like you kind of give your coach that look of like, dude, I got it today. You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely get that <laughs> sometimes. And uh, Ryan's super fun at like at, like at that meet. Um, just like I'd be doing like, oh, Ryan, can you like get me on a start? And he'd be like, he'd stand at like, like behind five minutes. I want you to dive here. And I was like, yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll dive out there. <laughs> But, uh, I like yeah, that. yeah, I, uh, Show, showing off those skills, man. I like that. Yeah. So that, that stuff like that just builds my confidence and, uh, gets me ready to go. Yeah. That's cool. Um, all right. So you, you swim the hundred free next to Popovich the whole time, but you said, uh, heat semis and finals. So what's your, what's your approach to, you know, you know, you want to swim in the final, but you got kind of two swims to get there. So what's your approach in order to get to the final and then maybe be at your best in the final? Um, I, I don't like, I'm not really, this isn't the first meet where I've made a final. So I just wanted to obviously have good swims all three times. Oh, um, so you just kind of have an, a max hit out each time. Well, the, the first one, I kind of knew how I wanted to swim it. Um, obviously I had the relay before as a good, mm. uh, indicator. Um, so obviously I, I just took it out. Um, and like, honestly, each time I, I swim, I, I learned something from the, from the swim that I can take to the next race. Right. Um, so basically, I guess the underwaters weren't as I didn't really focus as much as like on my start of my underwaters in like the prelims. And then the semi was pretty much like a max hit out. And then the final, I just wanted to just get out fast. I knew uh, the the obviously Popovich comes back super fast. So I just wanted to get out fast and then um, just get my hand on that wall. When you get out fast or you want to get out fast, you've obviously got to have a certain mindset for that too. It's like, all right, I'm, I've got to intentionally kind of work this. So when you have that intention of getting out fast, do you change your breathing pattern in order to get out a little faster? Or are you, I mean, what's your strategy to help yourself get out quicker? Uh, strategy is just go. <laughs> That's my strategy. I just want to, yeah. Um, you got to put I some breathing like in there though. You got to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. I breathe. Um, I don't breathe like first stroke. I'm not supposed to breathe first stroke, like off the dive, I go like three or three or five. And then I would go just like swapping between every four and every two. I like to breathe, uh, every four. And, um, obviously I want to keep that first 50 still relaxed as I'm going out fast. Cause I want to be able to come back as well. Uh, but yeah, basically, and I was talking with, uh, my coach at that meet, he said, you know, like, obviously, I've been having the fastest first 50, and I want us to do that again. And he said, you want to have a fast first 50, and then basically on the way back, it's if if someone wants a medal, they have to pass you. And that's what right. he kind of drilled into my head. So my goal was yeah. just to, you know, not get passed. That was kind of my thing. And that's, uh, uh, honestly, that's a good spot to be in, uh, in, in my head. Um, it's, it's just like, mm. I, I know how to fight, I know how to race. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to flip first and then and then stay first. That was my goal going into the the race. Did you have a ballpark at all of where you wanted your feet to land on the wall in terms of the time? A ballpark? Um, yeah, I I was looking at around. Obviously, the Dressel like fastest in the world. He goes out like two three. I wanted to be like around like two three two four. I was uh, <laughs> like. I think 22 five which uh, which is still really good for me um that's the yeah. fastest i've ever been out so 
yeah yeah that that was a goal i was setting in my head because i wanted to be out be out well right sometimes when i tried that i actually i actually flipped in 22.5 you won't believe that but i did i flipped in 22.5 once and uh it hurt like hell man i'm telling you when i came off that wall like when my when my legs pumped off that wall immediately i was like oh man that was a mistake you know like yeah. that that was yeah. me back in the day but like do you get that feeling of like oh shit i just i just went out real hard there at all uh i i didn't get it at at that meet i feel like and also in practice whenever i'm swimming um i kind of i always try to do that I try to get out fast and then i'm kind of i'm kind of used to hurting so mm. like that that strategy is not like something that i'm afraid of anymore like going out fast right um like obviously i'm i'm hurting but like especially at a meet once i'm tapered it's like i don't even think it's as bad it's just like i i know how to i'm kind of comfortable in that situation like obviously i'm fatigued but um i i just still like like race as hard as i can it's just like something that's normal yeah. to me at this point yeah you, well you go out far you go out you go out first and then you like you said you know you got to get guys to pass you if they want to win so I think two guys ended up touching you out barely. I mean, did, where, where were you feeling it? Where were you feeling them? Are, were you getting to the 75 and feeling like you could still win this thing? And then maybe as you got a little closer to the wall, you got a sense that they were on top of you then? Or where was it for you? Yeah, so, well, I kind of noticed. I think uh, I noticed that they went out a little faster than I guess they usually do. Like, right. obviously, I was out fast, but I kind of felt them a little close to me, especially Popovich. Like, he... He came back like I remember him coming back in the semi and he like he just like won like this. Like he he mm. moved in, in that semi. Um mm. but I kind of noticed and then at, at that point, I think it was at like maybe around like 20, like the last 25, the, the I think we were almost like level. So I was just kind of just like racing as hard as I could because I knew it was super close. I knew obviously all, all I could really see was Popovich and then the guy I couldn't see uh Maxime. Um right. I was I was being the other way um so yeah i i just like kept fighting and um just wanted to get my hand on that wall first when you fight what what's happening is your where is your body just seizing up a little bit and it's harder to pull or is it like where are you feeling the pain for you yeah it's like a little harder to pull obviously you're getting sore and you're like getting tired um you just try to just like kick and like obviously try to keep the technique just hold that technique as uh, as much as you can yeah. Yeah. and then like race to the finish right and then are you the kind of guy that says all right i'm holding my breath from 10 out or anything like that or are you breathing all the way to the wall um i think at that meet i was maybe like around it was maybe less than 10 out i want to be able to get to 15 uh not breathing into the wall because i feel like my my, my freestyle is a lot better with my head down Mm -hmm. um so i want to be able to like close race as well by keeping my head down have you ever thought of and i'm not putting this in your head i just want to know if you've ever thought of like uh, a nathan adrian strategy where you head down and then go into a straight arm uh straight arm no not not at this point a uh, straight arm um i am looking at obviously changing a little bit about my my freestyle technique because i think it's not at the point that i want it to be at yet um just talking with like my coach and looking at video uh, there's still some stuff to change in my in my freestyle technique, but uh, no, not not the not the straight arm at this point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, is there a difference between your technique for your hundred and your fifty? Um, yeah, I, I would just say like my 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 br my breath isn't as good, so I would say it's a, probably a little bit different in the in the fifty, just because I'm I'm more still, uh, obviously going faster, more more power. Do you breathe at all in the 50? No, I don't breathe in yeah. 50s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. Good. Good for you. Do you do a lot of work on that ability, like in practice, to be able to swim, you know, all out for 21 seconds holding your breath? Yeah. So super recently, um, we were just doing basically 50s, no breath. At one point, we would do 50s, like, so I would do like, they were like on like easy, easy, uh, easy pace times, but I'll just do maybe like a technique 50 and then on the way back, no breathing. And I'll switch it out like fins, no fins, and then do like fly free. Um, at one point we did where it's like maybe eight fifties, one technique and then one, no breathing. And then I just like descended it down to like a decent time, not all out, but just so I kind of get used to that speed. 
um, like without, without breathing. And then just like got to the point where I didn't need to think about breathing in my race, just thought about like going fast and obviously having good technique and hitting all the, the technical stuff. Nice. Yeah. We are, we are nerding out about sprinting. I love the fact that we're just chatting sprinting. Yeah. What about, I asked, I asked Popovich this in terms of the world record, he's close and you're getting closer. Do you think about the world record in the hundred free? Yeah. It's uh, it's obviously there, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's like it's an un like obviously unbeatable." But there's a lot of people close to it. But yeah, I feel like it's a fight uh, for that world record. I'm obviously <laughs> looking at it. I'm trying to get to 46. That that's my goal. Um, nice. Nice. So it, yeah, it's on my mind. It's in the back of my head. What's the best you've ever come home in a second fifty? Maybe it was like 24.9. Oh, really? You haven't been under 24.9? Uh, may, maybe 24.8 um or like maybe if you kind of race where i went out probably stole or like a 23 or something then it might have been faster okay so uh, that this this will be the goal then right so you've got to obviously get out fast to get this world record but you got to come home fast yeah. as well and that that's probably that back, yeah. what you're looking at next is maybe just getting home quicker yeah i think like for, for me that just like first 50 is like just natural natural speed for me now so right. i have to obviously my week weak point is that back end so mm -hmm. i'm gonna really start working on that back end try to come back well yeah you got to put the fear in these guys minds of like josh isn't slowing down if he gets out in front he's not slowing we're not getting past him you know so that's what you got to put in their minds now it's like that next level of like oh shit he's out and we're not catching him you know and i guess maybe dressel has done that in the past um you know he, he's got that front end speed and he's been able to maintain hold on to it were you a little disappointed just from a, a competitive stand, standpoint that Dressel wasn't in the 100 free, 100 fly finals? Yeah, for sure. Like, um, I've, I always want to race the the best. I feel like that's the best way to get better and the best way to see where you can improve. Um, and he's he's obviously the best right now. And obviously, I really wanted to race him in the 100 free because we kind of – I want to go out in the 100 free, right? Go out fast. Mm. I feel like having someone – you know, out ahead of me would have would have been pretty good in terms of almost swimming like my race, honestly. Mm. Um, yeah. So I was honestly really excited about that, but um, not sure what's going on with him. But I hope he's uh, I hope he's all good and uh, thoughts are with him. Um, but yeah, I was I wanted to look at things like my dive next to his, my underwater's next to his, and basically see you know where I'm at to know if. I dive in and he's destroying me then like okay i got some work to do or if i'm diving mm -hmm. in and i'm a little closer then i know that i'm obviously closing the gap so yeah yeah it was a it it was a shame but i still um still went and uh just like did, did what i had to do so i'm my race yeah for sure man yeah definitely um and what you're still 19 when do you turn 20 august so almost okay. almost 20 yeah oh it's coming up okay damn still young but like what basically 22 by paris hey yeah sweet that's like prime there man that's it's, it's it feels like it's setting up for you and popovich kind of like the two two juggernauts here man coming on at the same time but almost peaking at the right time to you know like that olympic some people miss the cycle you know they're like ah oh, they just missed their peak you gotta wait another four years it feels like you two are kind of like heading towards the prime where this is going to be a showdown you know yeah, it's fun. It's uh, it's it's fun racing him. Um, I def it was a big eye opener on that back fifty. I kind of realized I got to work on my back fifty because <laughs> especially especially in the semi, um, just yeah. like racing and he can just like he, he's good. He's a good swimmer. Yeah. Well, you got you got boys and everything. You got the fly. You got you got Milak in the fly, man. <laughs> that guy's a, yeah. That guy's another level too, eh? Yeah. He's a he's a really good swimmer. I mean, his fly is almost. He's a really good fly technique. Uh, that's what yeah. I that yeah. It's everyone pretty, knows. isn't it? Yeah. It's so pretty. It's it's like effortless, but it's just it's powerful and flowing and um, yeah yeah gorgeous technique. Yeah, he's got yeah. it down. Have you had any conversations with him? Uh yeah, I talked to him a little bit. Um, but he's got like everyone, especially at that. Meet, he's got everyone coming over. Oh, like let me take a picture of this and that. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was he was a pretty busy dude at that meet. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Well, how are you making improvements here? Then you've you've taken some chunks off and getting on the podium here now like how do you how do you get to that next level what's the how do you get to the 49 swim for you um well i like one thing i noticed like i said my my fly pole is not great like it's definitely something i need to work on it's uh pretty weak like my my fly kick is good i have a pretty good 
fly kick, underwater kick, I would say. Um, so yeah, just, that's just the next uh, level. Just be able to just kind of have a, obviously work on technique a little bit too. I want to mm -hmm. get better technique in the, in the fly. And then, yeah, I'd say that's, that's the next step. Like that's the uh, first step is to get, get a better, get a, get a better pull so I can finish my stroke well. And is this to... something um, you think you can work on in the gym? Like, do you need to get stronger in the gym? Yeah, I would, I would say so. Got to do, um, yeah, I got to work on those tricep extensions in the gym. A um, <laughs> couple of boys are beating me in the gym. And I, I, I would say right now in our group, I'm probably the best in the gym in terms of lifting, okay. but they, they kind of beat me on, on some of the arm stuff. So I need to, I need to work on that. Okay. So we got to, we just got to work on that transfer of, of strength and power from the yeah. gym to the pool then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, it, it's common. Um, and then you race obviously some big boys in that 53. That's no joke either. Ben, Ben proud, um, got the job done. That was cool to see. And he's a big dude too, man. Look yeah. at that. I see pictures of him. I'm like, what the f he's yeah. just jacked. He's massive. And he's tall too. He doesn't look tall cause he's so yeah. stacked, but he's, yeah. yeah, he's huge. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a mammoth. I love yeah. that. I love that. It, I love that you can carry that type of muscle and then transfer it to like perfect technique. He's got beautiful yeah. technique too. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what about there? What's, uh, I mean, you made improvements there. How do you get to that next level, that 21 flat, maybe even that, you know, sniffing around that 20.9 mark? What, what, how do you get there? Yeah. Um, obviously look at my start a little bit. Um, I was, my coach said, I don't carry as much. Um, I need to work on those last couple underwater kicks into the swim. Um, mm -hmm. cause I don't, I'm kind of losing a little bit of speed there. Um, how yeah, far so are you kicking out off the, off the start? Um, I think in that, in that final, I kicked, I think I was right to 15. Uh, okay. not everyone goes right to 15. Right. Um, uh, but if I am going to go right to 15, I want to make sure I'm carrying that speed all the way and not losing any speed. Right. What about block work? How much block work do you do on a weekly basis? Get like actually getting off the blocks? Um, not, not too much. Like we would have some, some dives. Like I've, I've never had a practice where it's like mainly focused on dives um, or anything like that. Sometimes really? Saturdays we get some good, some good dive work in, but I'm still looking at obviously like my dive and ways to improve on it. Cause like I'm, I'm, pr I'm a pretty good jumper. Like my relay takeovers, I would say mm. a lot better. Mm. Um, but I'm just kind of looking at like positioning my feet and stuff like that. Cause I have a lot of power. I'm just not transferring well, well enough yet in, in terms of, uh, into my dive. So we're just kind of now we're kind of looking into, what we what we can do to get a better dive well it seems like everything's kind of progressing positively have you had any struggles over the last couple of years anything been difficult for you um yeah i would say i guess for everyone COVID, right COVID was a mm. was a big struggle um mm. it did help me a little bit because that was a i kind of put on some muscle and uh got stronger during COVID. um but just that kind of big break and then coming back and having to kind of get the feel for the water again and then learning, learning things and then trying to hit times again. That was definitely a big, uh, big setback and something mm -hmm. that I had to obviously overcome. Yeah. Well, Commonwealth's are coming up, man. Commonwealth's are big. You know, if any, any Commonwealth country, it's a big deal. As an Australian, I got my Commonwealth medal hanging back there. So I know, I know the deal, man. It's a big deal. So, um, this is something you can win. Are you looking at it like that? Is this is this something where you're looking at, man, I could be Commonwealth champion here? Yeah, I mean, that's the goal. Even at uh the like my mentality is always I'm I'm shooting for the highest for the highest uh highest goal. So yeah, I wanna get in there and win. Obviously you got some this is like we got some great, really good um people. Like it's not just gonna be like a slow meet. Like this some um, No. Yeah, there's no. some big boys. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited to go in and just to race again got a lot of racing this summer so i'm yeah i'm, I'm excited i'm happy oh, yeah i guess what you got Chalmers coming back in the 100 free that's going to be a good race there and then 100 fly uh who who's who's kind of the big competition in the 100 fly uh i'm not sure the the countries maybe um, chad leclo chad chad does yeah. the 100 fly yeah he's, um, a, he's a good fly. and then you got the aussie, aussie kid that does the the fly um yeah. and then obviously in the 50 free you got in the fly you got ben proud again yeah. um 
couple of those. So I'm trying to think who else is yeah. there. But 55, yeah, Dylan Carter. We got Dylan Carter in 55. Dylan he Carter, a, yeah. He had a yeah. good 50. Yeah, I think, yeah. Be, I think the 55 yeah. will be pretty fast at that meet, actually. Yeah, man, you got to get bragging rights. You got to beat Dylan Carter, man, a Trinidad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's cool. Well, good. Uh, it's been been interesting getting to know you, man. So, what's what's next? I mean, you're planning on staying there. Had you ever thought about coming to America and doing college? Had had people been trying to get you to come and do that? Yeah, definitely. I've uh, been talking to some schools, but we'll kind of see how the year goes. Um, I've, I've been talking to my coach about this too. Um, they obviously want me to stay stay here. Um, and we've got a pretty good group, to be honest. We got like Rusin came in. Um, we got Javier Acevedo here. Like we got a decent group of boys, which we've never really had in uh, in Canada. So um, yeah, I've definitely been chatting about it and obviously seeing what would be best for me um, going forward in the future. Wow. Have you, have you started college already? No, no, I haven't started college. When did you, when did you finish high school? Uh, 2020, 2021. So last, last year. So yeah, I don't know what all the rules are anymore. I've been out of it a few years, but I mean, I guess there's a window where you've got to make a decision here soon, right? Yeah. Pretty soon. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are you, have you narrowed it down to a couple of schools or are you still open to anybody? Uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've narrowed it, narrowed it in. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. Well, some, there's a little bit of talking going on. All right. This is creating some interest now. Now we're now we're starting to get some interest here. What's going on? All right. I think people are going to start to dig, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's cool. Okay. So there is talk of that. Wow, man. That would be a big pickup for someone to get you to come swim in college. What do you what do you, what attracts you about the college scene, the American college scene? Um. It, I, I think it looks fun. I think like swimming yards and just like going, I, I like the sprinting side of it. It looks uh, doing like a 53 yards. That just seems like, like super fun, just short, shorter. And uh, obviously the team aspect looks uh, pretty fun. Like we have some guys here that, that went down and they say it's like a, it's a great time. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. You actually remind me of a kid, another, another kind of former Caribbean kid, Jordan Crooks. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. Yeah, he's fast too, man. He's talented like you. He can jump, and he's coming along. He's coming along real well. Multi, multi talented in terms of what he can do, and kind of hit the scene at Tennessee this year. He's doing, he's doing some good stuff. So interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, that that'll be cool. But Commo, when do you leave for Commonwealth? Uh, I think we got a staging camp first, so we'll leave. I think we leave on the seventeenth. So we fly out, have a staging camp. I think in somewhere in France, and then. We go to the the venue and start start training, right? And then what's the dates of that? I think it starts six day meet. It starts on the twenty seventh, I think, of uh, July. Yeah, and then goes to like August third. So if you were going to make a college decision, it, you'd be you'd be looking at going to college this fall, like like in a couple of months. Yeah, I, I looked at uh, obviously like January as a as a possibility too. If January, I if I wouldn't make yeah. that decision, yeah. Yeah, January. Are you going to go to World Short Course? Um, that's in December, right? Yeah. Uh, still, still not sure about that. I, I would like to go to the. There's a World Cup in in Toronto. Mm. I'd like to be able to go to that one, but um, we'll see uh, uh, how things work out. But I think like I, World Short Course is a lot of fun. I'd like to go again. Are you planning on taking a break after Commonwealth? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll take a, uh, obviously my, my birthday is going to be kind of coming up soon. So I'll take a little break, um, in, enjoy myself and then, and then obviously get back to work. Yeah. Cool. Well, listen, man, it's been fun getting to know you. I think, uh, you're going to be an exciting person to follow for the next few years, man. And, uh, you, you seem like you're young and just figuring it out and still got so much more to learn and, and gain and that's kind of scary for the rest of the world because you're already fast as hell and man you're coming on quick so that's cool I, I like it man a lot of exciting stuff in your future yeah gotta gotta learn quick gotta catch up to to some of these guys who've, who've got it down but um yeah I'm, I'm excited for the future dude you learn quick you can't learn any quick you're 19 you're swimming 47 <laughs> and under a free what the hell are you talking about man you're fast as hell like <laughs> 21s at 19 who's going 21s at 19 damn that's quick dude you got a you you got you got a big future man yeah super exciting that's why i wanted to talk to you i was like damn this kid's coming on quick i better 
I better figure out who he is because I, uh, pretty soon he's going to be Olympic champion. I would have never got to know you. So um, thanks for doing this, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is fun. Yeah, absolutely. Well, keep it up. Good luck. I'll be cheering for you. Commerce, man. Go get that medal. Do one better than me. I got beat by a hundredth of a second. Don't get don't get beat by a hundredth of a second. Yeah. And then hanging on your wall for the rest of your life. I don't even yeah. know why it's there. It's it's embarrassing. Well, that's that last 15. Got to put my head down last 15. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and stick that head down. Don't get touched out. All right. Good luck, yeah. eh? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Take care, man.